you will get someone absolutely obsessed with you after using these techniques. But there's a warning. It works pretty fast, so make sure that you actually want this person. Before I share these secrets, make sure to smash that subscribe button to manifest the life of your dreams. Enroll in my 10-minute bonus coaching call. I cannot wait to help you one-on-one. -on -one. Dreamlifebyveronica.com is the place to enroll. Spots are limited, so don't miss yours. Now we're going to be using concepts of the Law of Attraction, Law of Assumption, Manifestation, Neville Goddard's Imagination. This has personally worked wonders in my life, and I know that you can experience the same level of success. Okay, so let's start by playing a game to guarantee your results. Because this works every single time when done properly. After you're done with these techniques, you will not be able to stop this person from desiring you. So during the duration of this video, I want you to freely let go of all of your stress, anxiety, worry, doubt, just brush it all off, let it all go, try to feel as weightless as possible, take a few calming breaths, try to regulate your nervous system, relax a little bit, feel some comfort as if everything is going to be okay and that there is a guaranteed way to get this result. Now these techniques work best when you approach them with an open mind and heart. So I challenge you to do just that. So the first step, you need to connect with that creative source within you, otherwise known as the universe, God, creative flow, your higher self, whatever you would like to call it. You just have to recognize its existence so that it can then help you. It can assist you in manifesting this person to be absolutely obsessed with you. So I want you to take a moment in this calm energy and just ask it for help. And when you ask, just identify the exact experience you want to have. Please don't beg. The creative source within you works best when you simply just present an idea of what you would like to experience and then you give gratitude afterwards. So just describe what this experience looks like to you. Take a moment to imagine it. Let your mind just daydream on the beautiful simplicity of it, and then just let it be. We call this setting an intention. Now the next step is you have to surrender the process. You've set your intention, so now it's time to give it over to God, to surrender it, to let your higher self take over. Because it knows the quickest, easiest, most efficient path to this result. Don't let your human mind, your ego get in the way. Try to analyze things, figure out your odds, because then you're just going to be inviting a ton of doubt into this experience. And we want to keep it pure, simple. We want to get you on the fast lane to success. So this means to surrender to the part of you that knows exactly how to get there. Put aside all the need to work, to exert effort, feel that your part is done, and just Give it over to God and let that just feel so wonderful inside. Sit with that for a moment, then proceed to the next step. Okay, so in this next step, we're going to ensure your success by starting every day with some positive self-talk, affirmations, auto-suggestions of things that can get you into the feeling of having this. So we're going to welcome love into your life. We're not going to name this person specifically because that part has already been done. Instead, we are just going to adjust your self-concept to know that you are worthy of this love through some beautiful, gentle self-talk affirmations. So I want you to say things like, I am worthy of receiving abundant love in my life. I welcome this now with open arms. Love flows effortlessly and harmoniously to me. And I have a smile on my face in advance. Every day, my love relationship grows closer and deeper. My heart is open to receiving boundless love. The love between me and my partner is magnetic, strong, powerful. 
I am exactly what they have always wanted and needed. My partner and I are drawn even closer together and become even more madly in love with one another. We are so grateful to have one another. I radiate love and positivity, effortlessly attracting this into my life. Now, if you feel resistance at any point during saying these affirmations, you can also pose them in the form of a what-if statement, which can actually be more potent and powerful. So if you'd like to use this method instead, I strongly suggest it. What-if statements automatically allow your mind to imagine the result minus the resistance. So they are like a shortcut to getting yourself to form belief. So we can say things like, what if my heart was open to receiving boundless love and affection? What if my love relationship became stronger with every single day? What if my partner adored me and showed me the world? What if my partner could not get enough of me and was so grateful for my presence in their life? What if I was cherished, adored, respected, valued, and shown the utmost care with every single day. Now feel free to make up some of your own. Just have fun with this. Say a few in the morning right after you wake up. You can also say them before bed. That way you can get into the mood of embodying love, becoming love, and thus becoming a magnet for this person to be absolutely obsessed with you in the best possible way. Now the next step is to remember that when you start to manifest this, you will most likely bump into this person pretty soon after. So you want to be ready with what to do. Now when this happens, don't freak out. Don't feel like this is a one-time encounter. Don't get nervous. Just be yourself. Make eye contact. Smile. Feel your loveliness. Remember there is only one of you and that is a very special thing. Just be normal, natural, let them lead the way, let the universe orchestrate it. Don't worry, don't put pressure on yourself, don't think that you have to say everything in this moment. Just feel like it is the start of great things to come, and just be so grateful for this. No need to impress them or say witty jokes or do anything to get their attention, just let it be natural, easy, harmonious, wonderful. Now at this point, I would suggest to work even more deeper in self-concept. I want you to also work on forgiving any past hurts, especially if this person has rejected you previously. I want you to let go of the baggage of any previous love relationships that failed you or let you down. Remember that you are starting a new chapter in your life where this person is obsessed with you, adores you, can't get enough of you. So we are letting all of the rest go because what do those previous experiences really do for the current moment? They do nothing. So we want to freely let go of that baggage. It doesn't condone what happened to you, but it allows you to release it from your current moment, from carrying it with you into the future and from hindering your progress because you don't want anything to stand in the way of your success. So take a moment to maybe make a list Deciding to release these things, forgive these people, don't identify with these things anymore. As we said about self-concept, these memories, they do not define you. They do not define what you can receive in the future. They happened. Forgive them. Move forward and work towards healing. Because you are headed down the path of having the relationship of your dreams. And that's all that matters. All that matters is where you're going, not where you've been. Now you can also write the universe, write God, write your higher self a letter of gratitude. You could formulate it as if these events have already happened, giving thanks for all of this. You could describe your love and partnership in great detail. This is a wonderful form of scripting in the form of lovely gratitude, and it can really work wonders. Now, after you write this letter, you can seal it and decide to open it up maybe a year into your relationship. Or you could maybe put it underneath your mattress and kind of sleep over it every night and feel that energy. 
You could carry it around with you. Do whatever you like with it. Do whatever resonates with you, whatever makes you feel the most powerful. Because as Neville Goddard said, feeling is the secret. So we do these techniques to bring about a feeling, a feeling that this is guaranteed, a feeling that this person can be obsessed with you, adore you, want to be with you, mutually be attracted to you, and to feel so secure within this relationship that you will never lose it, you will never have to worry. And do whatever you like with the letter, describe it in great detail, don't hold back for fear of being disappointed, identify all of the beauty of what you want to experience. That is how it works best. Now, the most important thing, when they do contact you, I want you to let them do most of the talking. So when they text you, make sure that you are not giving as much. You want to leave room for them to chase you, to pursue you, to adore you, to show you that they are obsessed with you. So do not take over, do not bombard them, do not reach out first. Let them contact you and they will. Make sure you reciprocate and that you just enjoy it. You don't worry about saying the right thing. You just act natural because that is how they will unconditionally fall in love with you, the authentic you, the real you. So just be yourself. Don't walk on eggshells thinking you need to say the right thing, do the right thing. And when the relationship begins, don't lose track of any of this. You specifically drew this into existence, and so it is yours. You can enjoy it. You can exist in it. You don't have to worry about losing it. Just don't fall back on old habits of neediness, of desperation. Just be your confident, lovely self. Let your smile radiate, your personality shine through, and this person will adore you, worship you, obsess over you forever. Now, if you'd like to learn how to get anyone to contact you in 30 seconds or less, now this can be a call, a DM, a text, whatever you like. Check out this video.